Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. We are ready to start painting this room, but the first thing we have to do is get it ready to paint. This is the room with the pink walls, and this is the room that uh, my mother stayed in when she would come and visit us. Uh, so I had painted it this pink because that was her favorite color. But uh, anyway, I call it Pepto-Bismo pink. That's what I call it. So anyway, now we're ready to uh, go ahead and paint this room. And uh, we've got a lot of the computer stuff in here, copy machine, you know, my little desk, Mr. Bucky's little desk. And uh, we also keep our shoes. We call them our downstairs shoes on the back of this door because it always stays open. And anyway, we got a rug in here that's got a burnt orange color in it. So the room's going to be painted um, a tan color, which will look a lot better, I think, than the pink. So there's what we're going to do is rather than move this big desk, we're going to end up, uh, there's Mr. Bucky's work clothes. Um, we're going to move this desk just out in the middle of the floor and turn it up and down this way so I can get the ladder around it. And uh, the rug was cleaned, let's see, last November. So, and it is a wool rug, but it's, uh, it's good and clean now. And I'm just gonna vacuum it real good on both sides. And when we uh, put this room back together, I'm gonna turn this rug around. Now, this room previously was what they called the wash room. This is where they did all their washing back in the early 1900s. And the reason it was the washroom is because, I don't know, y'all won't be able to see, but out there right where I'm pointing, there is a very deep well under that deck. And of course it's capped over properly with steel bars and a lot of cement, but that's where the well was. And uh, once I get this rug vacuumed and get it rolled up, I'll show you on the floor where the pipes came in and over on the wall there. And, of course, we've got a full bath in here, which I'm going to have to paint in there. I'm going to have to do some work, but got a lot of uh, marks on the wall, which I'm going to wash and sand just a little bit. And all this woodwork has got to be sanded. I call it woodwork. It's trim work, really. And then over here, originally, all the wood trim in this house was this dark, because that's what they did in the uh, early 1900s. Everything was, they tried to make everything, uh, you know, the dark wood. And uh, this is peeling off because of that vent right there. And the air conditioner comes in right behind here. So it's much colder coming out this vent. There's a couple of the holes where pipes came in. And uh, anyway, this is the original floor. And it looks like they had to replace parts of it. So anyway, and this floor originally had paint all over it and I stripped it, but didn't look much better after that. There's another place where a pipe came in. Yeah. So anyway, we got a lot of work to do in here. And uh, that door had been painted mega times and I stripped it. And uh, it still, I think, looks better stripped than it did painted because there was so many coats of paint on it. And of course, everything in this house, all the wood you see is heart pine, every bit of it. So when you start sanding on it, it smells like turpentine. Now these doors were put in, of course, later and behind. Y'all don't mind, because I haven't done wash in a while. My washer and dryer are, are in here. Some hang-up clothes for downstairs. There's the towels and the dark clothes. Yeah, there's my messy shelf. So I've definitely got to clean up in there. I put this cloth over the window to prevent that sun in the afternoon from beating down. Anyway, all that's going to be cleaned up. And so anyway, I'm going to uh, roll this rug up and we're going to get the desk moved around and we'll be back and show you how we're getting ready to start work on here, this uh, room in here. All right. Oh, one other thing. 
I broke the storm window a couple of years ago. I went to let it down and it fell and broke. So we're going to have to replace that window here at some point. But anyway, these windows are not the original windows. These windows were replacement windows, except for the top part up there and the trim around the top. But uh, they were the longer windows like we have in the rest of the house. And somebody, uh, years later, replaced those with these newer windows that look like they're from the 1960s to me. Anyway, let's see what else. Of course, all the walls used to be plaster, and uh, the people that owned the house before us took all the plaster down, or most of it, and uh, then they uh, insulated and replaced it with sheetrock. And then we got a popcorn ceiling in here, and I'm not going to do anything with that because I painted it when we painted the pink on the walls. So the ceiling's in pretty good shape. Of course, we put the fans up in here. Yeah, so I've already got my ladder in here, and I've got a few little tiny nail holes to uh, patch up, and I've got to sand all the white trim, because I am going to have to paint it all. I'll show you over here. This is where one of the dogs was in here and wanted to get out, and you see how they scraped? Yeah, and I think you can see where this nail is here that that's where the dark was. Everything was like the brown shellac. So a lot of that had to be stripped off and sanded and then painted. There's another place on there. Anyway, all right, so we're gonna get started. And uh, it's probably gonna take me a while, so I won't be doing, well, I'll do another video once we get the rug up and let you see the floor. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right, we have got this room pretty well ready to, to start sanding. Uh, and of course the sanding, we're gonna use the uh, 220 sandpaper. And all we really do is just kind of rub up the surface a little bit so the paint will really stick. The other thing I'm gonna do, I want to show you this. Let me turn on the light so y'all can see better. See all the guck in there? Yeah, inside the plug-ins and, uh, of course, uh, inside the uh, little uh, light switches and the plug-ins get really, really dirty inside. See all that sand or whatever inside there? Anyway, the light went out. The other thing is I've got to fill holes. Well, let me just cut that light out completely there. Yeah, the uh, holes up there. Well, the light still didn't go out. There. Yeah, see those holes up there where curtains were? And I'm gonna have to get some curtains for this room because I want it to look really nice. This is, of course, the office. And this is where we had a window air conditioner multiple years ago. So, of course, we're gonna end up painting all of that. And I was telling you that this was the room they used to wash clothes. And here where some pipes came in, and then this section right here. And the floor, this is the original floor right here. And then over here, they replaced some of the floor. Yeah. So anyway, Mr. Bucky has agreed he will paint my louver doors, which I hate to paint those. They're terrible. It takes forever to paint them, so he's going to do that, and I'm going to do the wall. So I wanted to tell you about this room again. This bathroom door was on the other side, and uh, it, it's not exactly the same as the other doors. It doesn't have that raised partition in here, so we figured that was like 1940, maybe this door was put up on the other side, and uh, or excuse me, 1950 is when they put this bathroom in. But this whole wall, all the way down, is like 15 feet. And uh, this was the uh, butler's pantry, and so there were no openings on this side. There was a door down at the far end on the dining room side, and this whole section here was a butler's pantry, so that gave enough room for a bathroom. And in there, of course, if this was a bedroom, you could use it as a closet, but I wanted my washer and dryer in there. 
because the way they had it before the washer and dryer in the 70s was in the kitchen, which I didn't like at all. So we turned that, it's somewhat of a closet and a washroom. But anyway, this has served us well as an office. And when my mother was living, of course, when she came to visit, this was her room. And she had her bathroom right here, so it worked out really well. Okay, so we're ready to start doing the sanding now. Um, I've cleaned off my floor really good and got the rug up. And uh, so this is my desk, which is just a little table. And this is Mr. Bucky's desk, which is, uh, was bought from the school supplies uh, in Columbia when they had access school supplies. And I think this was the secretary's desk because it's got a place over there for the uh, typewriter right here where this opens up for the typewriter. Anyway, I stripped all that and refinished it all oh, probably 10 years ago. But it works real well because it's a big wide desk. Anyway, all right, so we are uh, ready to get started on the sanding. And also I'm going to start filling in these little holes. There are not many of them to fill in. But anyway, I'm tired already. Okay, so this is going to be part one. And then um, I'm, I won't be taping when we're doing the painting because I won't be painting with a brush. And uh, so we'll show you part two when the room's all finished and put back together. All right, we'll see y'all next time on that, which will probably be several days from now. All right, see you then.